Hi, Magdy. Hello, George. Hi there. I, I have a question with regard to resistance. I noticed, like, I go to an exercise class three times a week, and I resist it all. I noticed, like, I was there yesterday, and all I did is resist. Looking at the clock, when is this going to be over? I wasn't in pain. I just resisted. Then I just wondered what I can do. I mean, I can, can't quite, I can resist the resistance, but that's just more resistance. Is there anything I can really do except maybe just notice the resistance and let it be? If your interest is in being, being without knowing, living as not knowing, living as being not knowing, so you you're not interested in the story, because the story is about the past, me, what I did, what I should do, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. If your commitment is to being, to exploring this resistance, meaning to be completely surrendered in a completely neutral way, with towards this what you call resistance because notice that you're speaking about a problem so there's already a problem and your interest is in solving the problem just to notice that interesting it's interesting it's interesting i i have a problem and i'm interested in solving the problem and i'm exploring various methodologies to solve the problem. But there is a problem. There is a me and a problem. So it could be that from the onset, your, your approach uh, is doomed in a way. Yeah. So you're at the edge of that pool and you you hesitate about diving or not diving, hesitate, you hesitate. And at some point, you, you just, you're no longer interested in the hesitation. You're interested in the dive. But you don't know much about the dive, you know, we don't know, but we go for it. In this case, it's a little bit different because we know about peace. We all have experience of peace, where things are happening in the world, in the body, in the mind. But I'm not operating from a place where there is a me with a problem, or, or a, better, a better thing, a better situation, a better... Maybe those 15 minutes, heck, you know, maybe they should be 10 minutes. 10 minutes is good enough for me. It doesn't have to be three days. Maybe I could do it twice a week. Why three days a week? And then I have to drive over and... Uh, all of... There are all sorts of... thoughts and patterns from... They're like... They make no sense, but they maintain themselves. They maintain the me structure. Maybe the safe me or the unsafe me, the me that is that has no problem or the me that has problems. Mostly they maintain the me that has, that has problems.
So I go to the gym too, you know, and I know what you are talking about. And I, I don't know how to say it, like I completely right here, right now in this moment, I'm not tripping, but I'm familiar with tripping. I know what you're talking about, tripping, meaning like the thoughts and darn, you know, I really, really don't feel like doing this and oh, look at these young people doing these things and there I am and whatever. <laughs> I don't feed that line of thinking and I don't. I, I'm not interested. I, I know what it is. I know what it's going to say next. It's like, oh, it should, you know, I mean, look at the watch. Oh, yeah, eight more minutes. I know what it's going to do. I've, I've, I've seen it. I know it. And there's nothing new there, right? It's just habitual tantrum, the me tantrum, in one way or the other, takes on forms, many different forms. And if you notice it at the gym, you will... Notice it in many other parts of your life in so many different ways. I remember when I was much younger, I had the whole pattern about like getting out of bed. There was a resistance about getting out of bed. <laughs> um. Presence. You are presence. And you are not in time. Time appears to you. Thoughts appear to you. You are not in time. So how can you speak about I am experiencing this and that and that? No, you're not. You're just perceiving. Nothing is happening to you because you is, are not in time. What appears to you is the impression of time, memories, thoughts, yesterday, tomorrow, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. That appears to you, but you, the perceiving element, you, that which is right now hearing these words, is not in time. So, you don't need to put on the straight jacket of I exist in time. I am and I don't know what I am. Perfect. Being is Non-being is not. Being is not seeking a particular experience. Experiences are appearances to you, thoughts, sensations, they appear to you. The wide open sky is not seeking clouds in the shape of angels. It doesn't give a darn about the clouds. So the me that has a problem, that's where you're starting. You're starting, you're starting from a place where you're already in the crosshair, you know? <laughs> My goodness, how is, how am I going to feel when that bullet is going to be shot at me? Don't make yourself a character in the dream existing in time and space. Recognize yourself as this formless, invisible presence that has no name, no age. It has. It's not no, named George. It has no family no history recognize yourself
and you will see how things shift in the body will have a little difficulty with the bicycle or with the weights or whatever uh, you know maybe choose a smaller weight or whatever and then before you know it oh 15 minutes have gone by it's, the timer is saying time to go home <laughs> and you know what you enjoyed those 15 minutes and that's what's freaky about it is you enjoyed you felt like, oh my god that was nice <laughs> that was nice the body felt you know challenged and invigorated uh, oxygenated uh, certain activity for the body the body loves activity the movement you know it's good Okay, thank you. When I go to this exercise class, I don't feel rejuvenated. I feel exhausted. Oh yeah, well, maybe maybe it's a little bit. Uh, it, maybe it needs to tune down a little bit. Uh, I, I I don't know. I'm just I don't know. Okay, that's fine. I the nature of the yeah. If you feel exhausted, then maybe it's a good exhaustion, or maybe you need to do some change a little bit to the the pace of the. Uh, uh, I don't know the details. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes. Don't start with a problem. Don't start with a resistance. 